Hi, my name is Simon Wong, and I cover the energy sector for Cabelli Funds. My best idea for 2023 is Weatherford International. The company provides equipment and services to the oil and gas exploration and production industry. Weatherford has 71 million shares outstanding. Trading on $55 per share, the company has a market cap of $4 billion. Including net debt of $1.2 billion, the company's total enterprise value is $5.2 billion. Global EMP capital expenditure peaked around $710 billion in 2014 and subsequently declined to under $300 billion in 2020. The world has been underinvesting in oil and gas for the last seven years. According to the EIA, a reasonable estimate for the global oil and gas investment required to meet demand growth is approximately $500 billion each year for the next 10 years. In 2023, we are projecting global EMP capex of around $410 billion, up 15% versus 2022. Higher activity will, will be led by international and offshore markets, specifically in the Middle East and Latin America. As long as oil prices remain above $70, we think spending will, will go up. Weatherford is levered to international growth. It derives 75% of its revenue from international and offshore markets. It has a solid competitive position in the Middle East, where ramp, act where ramp up in activity is currently underway. It recently won a multi-year contract with Saudi Aramco, Atnoc, Kuwait Oil Company, and Petro Petroleum Development, Oman. Also, Weatherford's offshore business is underappreciated as it maintains market leadership position in the offshore tuber running services and managed pressure drilling. The company has been under new management since October 2020. Under the current CEO, the company has, has focused on growing profitably and generating free cash flow. EBITDA margins have expanded from 12.5% in 2020 and should exit 2022 around 19%. We believe Weatherford can achieve low 20% margin, which would be on par with diversified peers. The company has generated positive free cash flow in seven of its last eight quarters and using free cash flow to pay down debt. Net debt to EBITDA is down to 1.8 times, and we believe the company will soon turn this attention to returning cash to shareholders. Given the amount of free cash flow we estimate the company can generate in 2023 and onward, we can easily initiate an annual dividend of $1 per share or 2% yield, which will be on par with the average of its diversified peers. Finally, what if it's also trading at discount to its diversified peers? The company's stock is currently trading at five times. 2023 EBITDA versus an average of nine times with SLB, Halliburton, and Baker Hughes. We believe as long as the company continues to execute, generate free cash flow, pay down debt, and eventually return cash to shareholders, investors will take notes and close the valuation gap versus its peers.